Hello, I'm going to look at a few questions in the uh, week three homework for you. I've been snowed in, my power's been out, but that's okay. Uh, for future reference, if it's a summer month, I'm recording this in January. The first question says the access code for a car's security system consists of five digits. The first digit cannot be five, and the last digit must be even. How many different codes are available? Let's let's go in here and let's just say, all right, this is my first digit. This is my second. This is my third. My fourth. My fifth. I'm in Excel. How many? How many different numbers could be first? Well, if I can't have a 5, it could be anything but a 5. So that's 9 other digits. Remember, 0 uh, is a digit. And let's say, uh, consists of 5 digits, the first digit. That's okay. The second must can be any digit, so that's 10. The third can be any digit, that's 10. The fourth can be any digit, that's 10. The fifth must be even. All right, so how many two? Well, I think there's five even digits. And then we're going to multiply those. And I'm going to say equals this number, which is 9, times, remember in Excel, an asterisk is times, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 5, and our correct answer, whoop, found a typo, yes, fix that, is 45,000. The tricky part to this one is understanding that 0 is an even number, and it is, think about it. An even number must be a multiple of 2, uh, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times... 3 is 6, so our even numbers, we think of 2, 4, 6, 8. But remember, 0 times 2 is 0, so 0 is actually an even number also. So the answer to this one would be 45,000. Our second question, we are doing a little probability, and it says we are rolling a single die, a single six-sided die. Find the probability of rolling a number less than then 3, think about it. There's only two numbers less than 3. Those two numbers are 1 and 2. So our answer would be equal to two ways of getting a number less than 3 divided by the total number of things that can happen, which is 6. And if I rounded that to three decimals, I would get 0.333. A pretty simple one.